we will start by creating a point using closest edge tool on the corner of the part and once the point has been measured we will create a system origin using this first point then we will create a close spline using the follow close tool and inspect will trace the perimeter of the part after the spline has been measured, we will create a point from this spline. This is the centroid of the part of the spline. And now we will create a system origin on this point. Then we will create a distance from the point to the spline. And we will create a system in skew either X or Y, for this example we'll skew X to the distance. Now we'll continue to measure the part and we know the location and orientation of the part that's unknown for the program. So we can continue to measure the rest of the part knowing that the location and orientation will repeat no matter how the part has been placed on the stage. So for this example, we will measure a couple of lines on the legs of the staple. And then we will place the part on a different orientation on, this, on the stage. And you will see that the program will be able to find and measure the staple. So we will select all of our features and remeasure them. We have placed the staple on a different orientation and now we just have to start with the same point. And the part will be measured automatically.